Our societies are both egalitarian. We don't stand on ceremony, and we frown on rigid social hierarchies. We are informal and can hang loose. <laughs> Thus, when Prime Minister Abbott visited Singapore last year, I could invite him to join my constituents for an Aussie-style BBQ at a public park, <laughs> only to discover that he was much better at barbecuing than I was. <laughs> Afterwards, uh, we went to dinner nearby. <laughs> I made sure to choose some good Australian wine. But alas, I neglected to check the steak. After dinner, after dinner, Prime Minister Abbott asked the chef where the beef was from. And the chef, with Singaporean directness and candor, replied, from the US, sir. <laughs> I will have to do better when Prime Minister Turnbull visits us next year. I have often personally experienced Australian warmth and hospitality. I first came to Australia nearly 50 years ago in 1967 as a teenager on an exchange visit. I stayed with a family in Melbourne, the Blanche family. Their son Graham was about my age and we quickly became friends. The Blanches took me to their holiday home at Mount Martha on the Mornington Peninsula. The first night for dinner, not knowing what to expect, I put on a tie. <laughs> <coughs> Graham stared at me and said, you're crazy, take it off. He taught me something about Australian informality that I haven't forgotten. I've stayed in touch with the Blanche family for all this half a century, so I'm very glad that today Graham, his siblings, Balfour and Heather, and their spouses are here with us to share this special occasion. <laughs>